I don't understand why you think this is a joke. Why do you have multiple character sheets? Because I can we made a one. Yeah, start recording. He writes them in pen, and then when he has to change something, he just writes a new one. <laughs> no, I meant, yeah, no, trees! I That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I believe okay, it. Okay, 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 everyone, shut up. Ready? Hold on. Okay, I have multiple pen. characters. Yeah, okay, a, that is no... Because I changed from that is, domain to forge domain, and I had to change a bunch of shit, so I just made a new one. Yo, but that's not nearly as fun as Gage going, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> And then we all laugh, and then he's like, fuck him. <laughs> okay, do it again. Okay. Everyone shut up. All right. Okay. Three, two, oh, one. Fuck you. Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, A Deal with Demons. In our previous episode, our adventures left the depths, and were able to massacre a encampment of Shardana that was about a probably pretty soon going to charge into the town of Haria. Massacre is a strong word, Gage. Okay, kill, murder, whichever one feels better. <laughs> Slit in their throats at night. put them to sleep. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> <laughs> We're the good guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're deep asleep now. <laughs> Nothing but good dreams. Well, now they can watch us on, what is it, a s- snitch, snatch TV or whatever it was? Oh, yeah. Definitely yeah, not it, it is, it is. <laughs> 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 It, it was niche, I think. Yeah. Dirty man. <laughs> Dirty man. So, that's where we left off the last session. You guys just killed all of the Shardana in the area, and it's uh, really early morning, so probably like five, 4 or 5 a.m. right now. The stars are still out. Uh, you think that the sun will rise in a few minutes, and you see there's just this encampment that you're in that is somewhat burnt, thanks to Farron. And, uh, it's all actually really quiet right now. Like, you don't hear any animal sounds, or you don't hear the wind at all. It's just eerily silent. And then, uh, uh, in front of you to the north, there's the t- small town of Huria. And then, to the south is where a lot of the people that he saved from the depths was going to walk towards. Can I insight check the silence, please? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, you'll just see... Rudder can blaze, standing <laughs> stoically in the distance, <laughs> drinking a smug of coffee, a steam coiling upwards, you know, just breathing in the early morning air. I like that flavor. <laughs> this one had a little bit of spice. I got a 21. 21? Uh, 21. You believe that the silence is just because... It's quiet outside. Yeah, it's basically just really quiet outside <laughs> and like... <laughs> From all the fire, well, from the fire and the death and all the blood in the encampment, you think that a lot of animals just are like saying we we're not making any, any noises here. Okay, as long as we're not going to get ambushed or something. There's just one really dumb badger, like swaddling <laughs> camp. It's like, where's all this blood? <laughs> What's all this? Uh, so what would everyone like to do right now? <laughs> I want to kill that badger <laughs> that I've made up. <laughs> No, uh, just having a midlife crisis. Yeah, being yeah. A yeah. How long has it been since we had a rest? Uh, it's been quite a while. Like I think the last time you rested was a short rest before you went into the like main area of the depths. Is that that dude's house, right? Yes, that's when you had a long rest last. Wow, yeah. Long. Now that all our enemies are dead, why don't we just sleep in this camp full of dead bodies? Is there a city close by? There's a small Can town. We please to the north. rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but why don't we just go to the city and find out? Because if we go to the city, we're gonna hit another plot point, and we're we suddenly can, gonna have to do more we stuff. We can stay here for free, or we can pay for lodging in the city. I don't have a lot of money. I'm broke. <laughs> like I have no money. Like I even wrote a zero here. I'll pay for everything's <laughs> lodging. So um, is that what you want to do? No, I'm laying down right now. <laughs> yeah, I use my down. action to lay down. <laughs> just, just curling up to, uh, to a couple of dead bloody Corpses. bodies. I'm using my my. That's my, a bonus action. <laughs> my my two mouth hands. I'm just like gnawing on them. <laughs> as a rudderkin, oh, I have, yeah, 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 I have right. evil tendencies as a rudderkin to eat people. That is so I'm just like is, I'm not even doing it on purpose. It's just in my sleep. I'm just like <laughs> just eating somebody. <laughs> Tasty. Uh, let's just go find, there's a tree around. Yeah, yeah, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh so there's a climbable tree. 
Yeah, of course. Yeah, so uh, where you're at to the north view is the small town. To the south is kind of like a small valley without any trees. And then to the east is a big forest that goes down pretty far and up pretty far. And it's pretty uh, deep. It's, it's kind of a valley like between uh, the river on the west side and then the forest on the east side. And there's just a few small hills. I'll just go right by the river. Okay. Yeah. We still hate you. <laughs> that's, that's, I don't. What do you mean? We're all mad at him. He set fire to this place because there are sneak a mission. Lot of people. He, yeah. And he murdered innocent people because he threw a fireball for I no reason. I also remember when you just like threw a bunch of like uh, slaves at that giant, um, which you oh, call it? Oh, it's yeah. like a giant. Yeah. Like, yeah. Balgura. Balgura. Yeah. Balgura. Yeah. I bludgeoned them to death. Yeah. Their bodies. That was amazing. <laughs> I mean, not for them, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's what I'll go rest by the river. Okay. Uh, I'll follow Baron. Okay. I guess I'll just I'll just follow as well. Like I, <laughs> sneakily, <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna follow. I okay. just find one of the tents to clear out, and I'll sleep in that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so <Finally. laughs> uh, you do find a few unburnt unburnt tents, and in the first one you look through, there are three dead bodies in there, and there seem to be a, uh, their swords kind of seem to be of like good make. Nothing too special, just like uh, precisely done and stuff like that. And okay. um, you just uh, do an insight check, please. Sure. Let's see what I got. Um, ten. Uh, so you kind of assumed that this tent was one of the tents for the higher ups in the small encampment. Okay. Well, before I get rid of the bodies, I'll search them. Okay. Uh, on them, you just find... You find a couple of compasses, a map of Talthania, actually, as well as like showing where you're at right now, and just a few daggers and stuff like that. Okay. And like parchment and writing tools, navigating tools, kind of like that kind of stuff. I'll just keep the map and then I'll throw the bodies outside. Okay. Yeah, yeah so you're able to do that and just claim the stand as your own. Uh, so uh, the three of you guys, so uh, Aelrendal, Farron, and Ryan, uh, you, uh, you were going to the river, so... As you walk towards the river, you just hear drushing and drushing and drushing, and uh, this is one of the big, uh, bigger rivers in Tilthania, and one of the sections where it's at its, its most powerful. And as you look around, you do see a few like fishing nets and stuff like that, and a couple of boats are uh, up, pulled up on shore quite a bit to the north. But other than that, you don't really see anyone or anything. Hmm. Uh, I'll just go and pull one of those boats up onto the land so it can't get swooshed away by the water. Yeah, it, uh, it was already pulled up. It was just, yeah. I'll just pull it up a little more. Okay. <laughs> for, uh, for extra measure, and uh, I'll just lay a bedroll in there. Okay. <laughs> what? No, I just think it'd be really funny if we just, like, pushed the water <laughs> let them sail off. But... Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna. Uh, odds. Uh, <laughs> let's roll. Uh, is there is there just like a tree I can lay up against nearby and just rest for a bit, kind of near the river? Uh, there aren't really many any trees near the river, just because people mostly cut them back down a long time ago to make sure that they could see if anyone's coming up the river or down the river or anything like that. All right. But there are definitely lots of trees in the forest you could go to. Uh, I'll just rest along the shore. I'll just uh, lay down. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, so you guys are easily able to have a long rest. And you wake up in the morning, and it would probably be around like uh, 9 or 10 at this point, just because you guys probably would have needed a... Really long rest yep. after what it's you've been, been through the last yeah. few days. 7 a.m. waking up in the Shut morning. Up. <laughs> yeah, you could say that Shut I haven't up. had a very good time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I, I and, wake up and I look and I'm like, I forget that I'm a monster. <laughs> I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and I think that all like all the friends that were uh, executing the Shredder with you probably would have gone south with the rest of their big group just to like help protect and stuff Ditchers. like that. Uh, they didn't want to sleep in a barren field of corpses. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? <laughs> okay, so yeah, you wake up in the morning and the sun is out and bright, not any clouds in sight. You see movement starting to happen like in the small town of Priya, even though it's a bit far away. You can still people see people like walking around and stuff like that. Uh, and you don't see your the prisoners you saved. Anymore. Like, they've gone too far by this point. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, Blaze stopped caring about them a while ago. <laughs> I'll just pack up my bedroom and get out of the boat, and then I'll just push the boat into the water. Okay. <laughs> and go meet up with. Uh, <laughs> but we need to cross the river? No. <laughs> People again? Uh, well, you could cross the river, but the town is on this side of the river, oh, the side okay, you're on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's cross it so we have to cross it again. That sounds like a great way to spend oh, the morning. Sorry. Yeah. Also, I don't know why you threw that boat in the river. Like, maybe, <laughs> like, it's just pointless. I didn't throw it, I pushed it. Maybe it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's my bad. Totally normal. So, what are you... <laughs> what are you <laughs> continue to record when it goes dark. I know, I was just oh. making sure, because okay. that's a new laptop, so I haven't been oh, sure. Whoa. Dude, new so, laptop, man. Yeah. That's going to be fun. Whoa. <laughs> oh, fuck. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I quit. Oh, God. Okay, so what What? What would you like to do? Let's go Everyone. to the town. Let's go to Freya. Yeah. Let's yeah. go to town. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll head to the town. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you make your way to the town. It's only about 10 minutes, maybe, no, probably about 20, 30 minutes walk from here. And as you get there, you see that it doesn't really have any guards around town. It seems like kind of just a town that just happened to be here that isn't really well protected or anything. Uh, you could do a history check if you guys wanted. Oh, would I ever? <laughs> <laughs> four that one uh, <laughs> one person who cares about history <laughs> I'm in a, a mood right now I mean looking around <laughs> okay, like okay. rudder and uh, body I'm just not in the mood for history yo I'm at I got an 18 yeah so you sure believe that imagine. back when uh, before the war against humans this is a more bustling town and probably had lots of guards and stuff like that but ever since the battle against humans it kind of start to become a bit more decrepit and fewer people have lived here now and stuff like that. So is it war torn basically? A little bit, yeah. Can it's, I do a perception check? Sure. It's mostly uh any damage that is done during the human war has been repaired by now. But it does seem like it's not its former self. Rolled an eight. What are you trying to perceive? Just like because he said there are no guards or anything, so I want to make sure there was any trouble up ahead. Yeah, you, you don't see any trouble up ahead, or like... <laughs> <laughs> How do the people seem here? Uh, as you walk through the gates, it's not really actually gates, it's mostly just w into the open, kind of. And the people seem like, they're kind of, they're pretty happy folk, and as any C CU guys, they kind of welcome you, and they're like, Oh, visitors! We don't, we don't see many visitors around here. Where are you guys from? Uh, I make sure to put like a cloak like yeah. completely over my miniature body. I like to think <laughs> that my rhetorican form is like up to like Alan Doe's waist. <laughs> so I just got a big cloak and I'm like covered up. I'm like, ah! <laughs> so no one can see that I'm yeah. actually a demon monster. Yeah, so where are you guys from? Hell! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I say Stasby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me as well. Oh, Stillsby, you're a uh, pretty far ways from home, I guess. What's up to <laughs> Oh, it's just we don't see many people around here, so we kind of when people come here, we usually welcome them. So people, no, uh, no, there's no people. There's other races, but no people. All right then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That was racist. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? By people? No humans. Like, There's no humans. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Why would I there be? Fern, real hard in the ribs. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I, I forget. Do I know he's human? No, I, I think no. only. Oh, can, can I roll? Has, yeah, can I roll insight for that? Sure. And the person you're talking to does say, "Well, we uh, we there are a couple of humans who are living here too, anyway." Yeah, but in this party, there's no human. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I wanted to deceive him. I okay. rolled a seventeen. I uh, just roll a deception. Yeah, I wrote a 7, so I don't know. Oh, that's 15. a dirty 20. Yeah, you ADC though. Yeah. Oh. Me too. What did you roll? 17. 17, yeah. <laughs> I get the strange oh, yeah. feeling that you're yeah. moving all the time. <laughs> but then I just don't know why. <laughs> yeah, so you kind of feel like something might be up, but you just accept what he <laughs> says. Maybe it's from being like being in the new body you're in or something like that, but you just kind of accept it. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just like nod my head in your direction. <laughs> Have you guys come upon any trouble on your way here from Silsby? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a bit, actually. We oh, well, what do you mean by that? Like, there's a whole encampment of bad guys like 20 minutes walk away from your city. Wait, really? Yeah. What, like, what kind of bad guys? Who, like... Wh- the Shardana. Who are the Shardana? Man, these guys are out of the loop. Yeah. <laughs> They've been terrorizing uh, coastal villages and cities and taking people away and slaving them. Oh, really? Yeah. Big wow. blue fucking monstrosities. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> Uh, I'll make sure I'll be fuckers. fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ate them. <laughs> and, like, they're gone now? Or? Yeah, they left. Oh, okay. <laughs> they're gone. They okay. fired them all! <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, No, we managed to convince him to leave. Okay, that's good. By killing them! <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Come on. What yeah, I... she believes that you did kill, or they, the person believes that you did in fact kill them all. They got a nat 20 on their inside. Wow. I wasn't hiding it! <laughs> <laughs> you said that encampment was just down south? No. Yeah. Uh, I'll send some, uh, friends to check it out and just... Some <laughs> Why are we burnt it? <laughs> There's not much left. Oh, okay, you burnt it down too? Most well, of it. Okay. One of us did. <laughs> the not human did it. <laughs> <laughs> that could be any one of us. <laughs> all of us. Oh, listen to them. They're speaking nonsense. Yeah. I watched you do it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Why are we here? <laughs> <laughs> we're here just to find, is there an inn or a tavern someplace? Yes, yes. Uh, we have... There's uh, one tavern and one inn. It's kind of just a small town, so not much going on. But there are some shops around here, too, if you need anything. And I need money! <laughs> <laughs> and most people should be really welcome to you guys. Especially if, like, what you said is true and you killed a lot of evildoers that, are, that m- may have been coming here. Is there a blacksmith in town? Yes, there is, yes. Uh, that are, that's just to the north side of town. Three miles. I should make money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, is your friend here all right? No. Just ignore him. Okay. <laughs> He's been through a lot. He's figuring himself out. Okay. I don't feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> don't pay too much attention. To okay. Okay. I want to eat somebody. <laughs> <laughs> like I said. Okay. Uh, so, is there anywhere you guys would like to go? I can show you around town if you want. Maybe we should take Blaze to a hospital or something. Did <laughs> we find out how we can reverse his infliction? Only the spell Wish. Are you serious? Yep. Wish or... No, just Wish. Yeah, I think it, I think in the book it does say Wish. The yeah. only way to reverse yeah. is Wish. It's like a blue slot. Like, if you get hit by a blue slot and you turn into a slot, yeah. the only way to revert it is by Wish. Lucky for you, I don't have that. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> so this is just who you are now? For a while. Okay. Until we can cast ninth That's level match. <laughs> <laughs> That's, what is that, like, ten levels away? <laughs> Something like that. Do you by any chance know someone who deals in the high area of the arcane arts? Uh, 
somewhat. Like, we've got a few uh, wizards or sorcerers in town who have studied really a lot of magic. Mm. But I'm not sure, like, how high level or how powerful are you thinking? I uh, hate myself, but I need <laughs> magic to make it better. <laughs> That's why. Oh, okay. <laughs> we should make our way back to Stillsby. Isadora might know something. That's a good idea, actually. Doesn't she just revive people? She probably has other magics as well. I make that's a good point, yeah. An astute observation. <laughs> <laughs> so are you like the same height as me now? I'm just a little bit taller than you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Weird flex. <laughs> uh, so I, I can show you around. Um, name's Osiris, by the way. Osiris? Yeah, Osiris. Osiris. Yes. My name's Blaze. And I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so is there where I can show you around to? I can... Uh, let you meet the. I can bring you to the lord of the town if you want, or bring you to the blacksmith, like you're asking about, or in taverns. You said there was like a lot of historians or something. Uh, there. Yes, our uh, the lord of this town, uh, Gumshot, is actually Gumshot. yeah. <laughs> is Osiris a human? Uh, he's a half elf. Half elf. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's actually probably the oldest person in this town. He's a dwarf and was here since, uh, bit be- well, he was born before the war against humans. Holy moly! He's probably the oldest person I- I've ever met. Take me to him, please. Sure, sure. Uh, are you guys wanting to come to the meet the lord too? Sure, well, might as well. Okay, awesome. Right, is that well, I don't know about... Huh? Oh, is that your character voice? It makes a good point. Ryan right? makes a good point. Sure, we'll all go. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a mix. You so like that's, that's 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 he's <laughs> kind of like a trucker. <laughs> <laughs> like I smoke six packs a day. This is Roger. <laughs> Ten for <forever, Dick. laughs> <laughs> Um... <laughs> Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if we should go introduce ourselves to Mr. Big Man. I, I personally don't want him. Who most likely, ha- likely have a reward for us? <laughs> uh, Why? <laughs> Alright, well, you... Can... I'm a killer for hire. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need the money. <laughs> Why won't we get a reward, though? We help save this small town. He should. He must be grateful for us. Well, can we go or, see the wizard first? Or we can kill him. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure to send some of uh, my friends and the higher ups here in town to check out that encampment, just to make sure what happened did happen and whatnot. You call me a liar? <laughs> no, I just think that before. Oh, he's a family. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not feeling myself. <clears throat> chill out, bro. <laughs> And then Osiris, uh, Osiris will just uh, uh, come up to a couple of people around town and just ask them to check out uh, the encampment to the south. Just like anybody? Like, they're doing their grocery shopping? And he's like, no, that's not what you're doing. No, so like... It's just a group of kids? <laughs> hey! Hey, <laughs> hey, you! Damn it, Osiris! I told you not to bother me while I'm buying my vegetables! So because this is such a small town, pretty much everyone knows everyone in this town, so he just goes up to people he completed trust and stuff and asks them to go. Okay. And they do. Uh, and then... So, how, which of you are you going to the to meet the Lord? Uh, um, I'll still go meet the Lord. I'll just, okay. sure. I'll meet the Lord. Okay, so I'll be okay. I'll just try not to make myself known or bring it in. I already met the Lord. (laughs) (laughs) No one. (laughs) Thanks, Gabe. Oh, Oh. wait, wait. Okay, no. I I get it. It took me a minute. I forgot you died. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Yes. What are you talking about? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, So Osiris will just uh, walk you through town when he takes about five. Maybe ten minutes before uh, he brings you to a uh, slightly more extravagant building. It's not huge by any means, but just bigger than most of the other buildings here. And just leads you inside. He tells you this is the uh, like 
governing building as well as the Lord's home. Uh, Lord Gumshot. And he'll just take you inside and lead you through a couple hallways to a room. Uh, he'll tell you to just wait at the door for a moment and he'll just announce you guys. And he does that and then about um, like 30 seconds later he comes back and op- opens the door for you guys. How did he announce us? Like, like a basketball oh, rally. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got to give him like a team. <laughs> well, we're the... Up next, we got. <laughs> Are we? Like every every good we don't have, D&D. We have a group name. No, no every good D and D D and D group has a good name. I mean, like in uh, like what's what's Eardron's group name? Like the. Oh, Fila and the Rebels. Oh, I thought we were going, like, a but detective. The dead, dead detective. Oh, yeah, Dead Detective yeah. Agency. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it was the first letter of everyone's yeah. name. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about I don't know about our group name. Ooh, okay. No, I thought we had yeah. one. Yeah, no, we got no. This is our chance. All right, this is our moment. <laughs> we're going to start branding ourselves. Yeah, so before he enters the room, he could ask, he'll ask, what do you, uh, what do you want me to announce you as, like, Blazing his bitches! <laughs> 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 no. Yeah. You're on the no. a little too out there. No. <laughs> Straight up, playing when you like uh, use that voice for Blaze, it sounds like Pinocchio from Shrek. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh yeah. That's just what I was oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's so accurate. <laughs> <laughs> come on, guys. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, what come up with a name? Be a boy. Uh, <laughs> that one's not very creative. How about gang gang? <laughs> You're like I'm the only one trying. <laughs> I can just announce you by your names if you want. Maybe best for now. Yeah. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think I actually got all of your names. Like I got Blaze, but I, I don't think I got any of your, the rest of you. Lazarus. Lazarus. Marcus. Marcus. Why are you lying? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Why? Why are you lying? I can't do it. <laughs> Why are you lying? What are you talking about? Why are you going to out him like that, man? <laughs> sorry, Marcus. <laughs> there you go. That's better. My name's always been Marcus. <laughs> and You're the worst liar. So good. Good. You're so good. Uh, it's Sir Mo. Sir Maul? Sir Maul. Sir Maul. Sir Maul. You're the... You're knighted. You're knighted. It's actually Arendelle. Sir Arendelle. You're the worst liar, but mechanically no one has found you out yet. And yeah, you? One person. Andrew. Andrew. Oh, we're using fake names! <laughs> <laughs> My name's Jim! <laughs> Let's just fucking get this over with! <laughs> He'll just shake his head and be like, Snap into a and, soap and walk, walk in and he'll just announce, uh, he'll announce Blaze because he knows that's her ah. name. Uh, Sir Aylrindle, Marcus, um, uh, what did he say you're supposed to get? Andrew and, uh, Lazarus. And he announces you to, uh, Lord Gumshot, the Lord of Haria. And you see this, like, dwarf who is kind of feeble looking like he's probably like around 400 years old oh we can take this guy as a suit that isn't a no. character voice so no. No. that'd yeah. be so funny walking room i could make this <laughs> sorry yeah so he's super old almost feeble he has a cane next to him he has a wispy white beard wispy white hair kind of uh sad looking eyes uh really like Pale blue and kind of almost sad looking. Very clinically depressed right now. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like Blaze. I have a question. Yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 I can't get over this one. Cats in the room. <laughs> I have a question. Hey, <laughs> 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 What color was your hair before it got white? This is a weird question, I know. Uh, it, it was black. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Uh, Osiris, Osiris here told me that you just uh, 
protected the city from some enemies that were going to attack. <laughs> Is that, that's true? I, we did. Yeah, we slaughtered them all! <laughs> uh, on behalf of the town, I'd just like to say a th- sincere thank you for protecting the town. We don't really have a lot of any, many, many or really, yeah, many guards in this town or people who protect it or anything. We can't fill our bellies on words only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fucking rough. Dude. I love that though. Oh yeah. I'm I'm sure I can gather up some uh payment for you guys for helping this town out. Much obliged. <laughs> How much payment are we talking? <laughs> Uh, I'll have to go talk with my advisor about that, but I, I think something around, uh, maybe like 30 gold pieces each. Mm. I just need enough Look. money for food! <laughs> and I can, uh, throw, throw, we'll throw a feast in your honor to you as well. Oh, sweet, now I can spend that money on other stuff. <laughs> oh, you could just up that to 50. I mean, we did take out a serious threat that lives by your land. I killed eight people! (laughs) (laughs) Uh, As you see, we are a small town, so we don't exactly, we're not exactly swimming in in gold, if you see what I'm, if you catch my drift. So 45. (laughs) (laughs) This fancy house says otherwise! Exactly, so 45. (laughs) Right? Oh, I want to persuade. I, no, I'm just kidding. I can go as high as thirty-five. That's more than generous. Oh. We'll gladly accept. It. Yeah, it's not like we built the sweater. Or anything. <laughs> that sounded sarcastic. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Thank you again. All right. Yeah, thirty will do. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, thirty will do. Oh. You're a fucking idiot, Marcus. <laughs> That's like when someone gives you a tip, but you give it back and you tell them, nah, you need it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is there anything else I can do for you while you're in this town? Do uh, you know any really powerful wizards or sorcerers? Uh, or any demons I can make a deal with? <laughs> Name drop! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, weird friend is right. There are some magic folk here in town. I don't know about their pow- power. Uh, it, in my life, I have met a few magic beings that could do something. Like, like how powerful do you, do you need, do you think? We need to fix this guy. I'm still covering my cloak. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> we just need someone uh, trained in the higher end of the arcane arts to help us in a little problem we have. It's personal. Oh, okay. We ask you don't pry too far. Of course. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone in the town here that could help with that. But I know of a couple of people who I've met in my uh, days uh, one lives near, uh, near Eit to the north. Uh, his name is, uh, Umder, U-M-D-E-R, and he's a high off that I've been friends with for a long time. I haven't seen him for years and years now. You said his name is Umder? Yeah, Umder. He lives in, uh... Ike, you said. In Ike, yes. Is that far from here? Uh, it, it's to the north east of here. Right? Yeah. Uh, just past one of the rivers on the other side of the forest. And just up north of it, through the mountains. How long would you say it would take to travel? Uh, it would probably be like a... I don't know. Uh, maybe like a seven-day hike from here. <sighs> seven days. <sighs> Well, it's not on our way to Mall, so... And, not everything's uh, about you! Also, on that note, uh, roll an insight check, uh, Aelrindal. Oh. I'd also like to ask oh, uh, Gumshot, oh, like, my. just, like, uh, oh, about, like, a library, because I'm writing a book <laughs> okay. about the history of cities. So. Woo! Wow. Woo, daddy! That's a 19. 
Yeah, so <laughs> now that you know exactly where you are, you, f- you feel as though Artemis is not at Mall anymore. Oh. You feel like he's uh, sailed to the west. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for pointing. Um, okay. Sounds swell. And you were asking him about the... Yeah, I'm writing a book. So if there's anywhere I can go to re- find the recordings of history about Horia, I would love to read it. Uh, we, we don't have a... What? I'm just trying not to laugh. You're, you're, it's just the voice. Oh. <laughs> I was laughing so hard earlier. It was hurting. <laughs> I'm really trying to keep it contained. Uh, we don't per se have a library here in this town, but uh, I, have- I do have a few books I can lend you, and if you have any questions, you can feel free to ask me, because I've I think I've been living here longer than anyone, anyone else. I heard you're one of the oldest men ever. Looks like it. I don't know about ever, but uh, I am <laughs> around 400 now. I have lots of questions. 412, I think, actually. And he, like, sits and con- contemplates for a second. Don't hurt yourself! <laughs> <laughs> Before you do hurt yourself, I just ask that um, I will forfeit my gold, you can keep it, if we can just get, like, a nice couple of horses and a wagon, perhaps, for travel, to speed things up. Uh, yes, of course. Of course, I'm sure I can uh, deal with that, yes. That would be wonderful. And uh, there's also, I also met someone who, a while ago who told me about some powerful sorcerer, or wizard, I think. Uh, he came through this town a few months ago. His name was, uh, what is his name Over. now? Uh, actually, don't remember what I read. Oh, Zaka. Uh, his name was Fazmir. He was a firbolg, and... Uh, he was telling me about uh, this powerful wizard who he had met on his travels. I think he was going up to the mountains too. He had a dwarven friend with him. Weird looking hair. Kind of different colors. Uh, What's this fireball name? Fazmir. <clears throat> what did he tell you about this wizard? Uh, he, he told me that uh, at one point he had found something called the Depths, and uh, there was a wizard who was living near there who actually saved him from some beings that came from the Depths. And uh, I got, uh, yeah, it, he said it was just a mis- mysterious looking older fellow. Did he, uh, did he say Dragonborn. A uh, I just not couldn't think. recall it. Uh, his name, his name, his name. Um, it would be our, our Carl. Uh, it was Dolath, I think. Dolath. So Dragonborn, I think he said. Uh, that was in the mountain somewhere. Uh, I, th- I think Fazmir was heading towards the mountain somewhere too. Oh, yeah! He was looking for a dragon. Yeah. Just Sounds promising! Pardon? You looking for just a dragon? Yeah, uh, apparently. <sighs> really horrible story, actually, this guy. Uh, his village was dev- uh, completely devastated and destroyed by a uh, black dragon that w- apparently was nearby, and he was the lone survivor. And uh, he's pretty much just been w- trying to hunt it from that point on, from what I heard. Good money in killing a dragon. It, yeah, there would be, I guess. <laughs> if you can kill it. You doubt me? <laughs> yeah! I don't doubt you, but... You're a little bit <laughs> uh, But yeah, I would like to spend the day, since I'm assuming we're going to stay here for at least a day. Yeah, the feast would be tonight. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to spend the day talking to this uh, gumshot man. Okay. Uh, what else does everyone else want to do? Do you have any more questions for the canine thing can to ask him or comments or something like that? Uh, this is out of character. What is our goal again? Uh, <laughs> what are we doing? Are we supposed yeah, to you, like? you were asked by the king of Avranches to save the people of his city. 
And also, like, so basically just to, and you heard that, uh, there were other places in the depths too, like more than just the one you went to. So we saved the people in the depths, but they weren't from Agarantos. Yeah. Great, we gotta go back there eventually, that's good. Yeah, at this point, so I feel like we should just find this Shardana dude whose name is Artemis. Artemis. We yeah, should just find fuck. Artemis. That fuck. And that, that way we can just like squeeze the answers out of him. Tell me. That's so. I'll check the whole bag. <laughs> <laughs> so, probably when you were like with that big group of persons you were talking to, you probably found out that they were all from like the islands and some of the smaller coastal towns on the uh, yeah. eastern side of. Tothania. Okay, so let's not uh, find Artemis. We have to save those people that are still in the depths. Um, so what do you guys want to do? If you want to, I mean, we're going to spend the night here, obviously. We're going to have this feast. Well, Fazemir was talking about the depths being in the mountains as well. We can search for another location there. We could. We could regroup somewhere where Torian is. Which is, he's with Fazemir. Wait, not? Wasn't it? He was with Fazemir. For a while. For a while. Until he went to Stillsby. Is Torian a dwarf or a gnome? Dwarf. Dwarf. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, maybe we should just go to the Norma Mountains and find this Fazemir then. To get back to the depths. Or we could head straight to... I'm assuming if he went west from Maul, and this is like, Blaze would know this, he'd probably heading towards Chun, because that's west. And we know they attack coastal cities, so that's Chun or Eel. Or Eel, Eel sorry. Uh, so, like, we could just head south to one of those, or we could head north of the mountains, find Fasimir, and go back to the depths. Like, which one would you guys rather do? North or south? North. Yeah. I guess we could probably do this in, like, character voices. <laughs> uh, before we leave, I'd just like to go speak with one of your arcane masters. Of course, of course. Um, he just said they're not masters. <laughs> they master uh, some sort of arcane art, I'm assuming. Uh, Osiris, do you think you could uh, bring, oh, shit, bring Marcus <laughs> to one of the wizards here? Yes, sure, I can do that. They have the same voice. <laughs> <laughs> I am his son. <laughs> you guys are real act. <laughs> Yeah, so Osiris will just uh, lead you through town to a home on the northwest side of the village, uh, near one of the rivers, and he'll just say, knock at the door, and uh, insi- uh, inside greets you, well, inside a uh, human greets you. Uh, oh, Osiris. Uh, same voice, too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's nice to see you. Uh, who's this? Oh, this this is Marcus. Same voice. <laughs> and I just give like a slight bow. Uh, and uh, he'll introduce himself as uh, as Eon, E O N. Uh, what can I do for you? Yes, I want to speak to you personally about an uh, issue I have with my magical ability. Sure, sure. Sounds good. Uh, it's okay. It's okay if Osiris comes along. Personally, I'd like this to stay personal. Okay, of course, of course. <laughs> and Osiris, Osiris will just say goodbye and just go back to the uh, Lord's building or governmental building. Am I gonna cool. go stand guard? There aren't really any guards. guards in town. Oh, I thought he was no. like a guard. Yeah, no, there's no guards. Oh, okay. He was just a random dude. Okay. You should yeah. come the enforcement. No, bad <laughs> idea. We have other stuff to do. <laughs> Doesn't pay very well. <laughs> uh, how can I help you, Marcus? Yeah, so... Actually, my name is Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> Lately, I've been having trouble trying to figure out what exactly is going on with me. See, I... I didn't have magical abilities before, but lately, it seems I do, and they kind of get cast, a few spells I know how to cast on my own, but other ones seem to happen unknowingly. Okay. 
Yeah, that's uh, just puberty. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to notice that along with a, some slight change in size uh, with your dick uh, <laughs> and facial hair. <laughs> Being a wizard's awesome! <laughs> uh, it's, it sounds to me like your. Uh, well, there's something called wild magic. And if you go through a. Uh, tremendous event of some kind then often sometimes you may gain the ability to use magic is it reversible uh see i kind of don't want to be here i want to go back to my family I, 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 I never asked for this and i don't want it okay uh there's nothing i would be able to do to reverse it i'm sure with powerful enough magic it could be reversed or altered, at least. Do you, do you know anyone who would possess that kind of a power? Uh, I do not, actually. I don't know a whole lot of people outside of this town, and uh, there are only a few of us who are magic users here in town. Alright, well, thank you anyways. Yeah, no problem. I'd prefer if you keep this quiet. Of course. Um. Uh, do, you, I, do you mind if I ask what event took place? Like, uh, how you got this magic? When you got it? Uh, roughly, roughly how far would have been back? Uh, that would have been probably three weeks ago now, or a month ago. Um, roughly a, about a month ago. Uh, I. Was there a big event that happened, or did something happen to you? It's a bit of a blur, but I I went through kind of a hellish encounter. I remember screaming. I was in a lot of pain. I saw mangled, evil-looking faces. Oh. And I woke up in a forest. Yeah, so that that's definitely how you got your magic, then. Uh... <laughs> guys, no fucking idea. This, this, this guy's weird. I should call our guards if we had that. Uh, and you say it was like demon like folks. Uh, have you been having any like uh, tendencies for like evil, I guess, or anything like that? Uh, I mean, other than I feel slight aggression, not really, but there's moments where I, after I feel the aggression, I blank out and I wake up and stuff around me is decimated, destroyed. I feel weak and okay. powerless for the next little while. Yeah, uh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. Uh, there should be some magic uh, user somewhere that could hopefully get rid of that or do something for you. I just don't know uh, where or who. All right. You haven't been hearing whispers or anything in your head, have you? Mm. <laughs> Only faintly, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I heard. I heard. A, I, heard a, I heard a noise a while ago. I believe it was when I entered. The depths. You went to the depths? Yes. We, it's a bit of a long story, but we have our purposes. I'm not going to tell you much. Fair thing. enough, fair enough. That's for our party's ears only. But I heard a voice. It said, you will be of great assistance in the depths. Which made me very wary to go further in there. But Yeah, wow. Oh man, um, being a helpful person? No thanks. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I, the only thing I can say is just try to find a magic folk as soon as possible, and then hopefully you can get rid of that. Cause that doesn't sound safe at all for you or anyone you travel with. For that matter. Um, does this look like anything to you? And I'm gonna pull my little journal that I have. And I'm gonna show him the picture of the face that I drew of a man with devil horns. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Uh, I, I've heard that this may be a symbol for a 
a dark or demon-like religion of some kind. Can't remember what it's called or who it's supposed to be an icon of. But I, I believe that's the same symbol. Alright, well, um, I won't take up too much of your time. I'm not sure what your day looks like, but... Oh, it's no worries. I have my own party to get back to, so... Thank you for your time, thank you for the help. Uh, I will continue my search. And remember, just keep this quiet. Of course. Um, it's nice talking with you. Likewise. And I'll make my exit and return to the party. Okay. Uh, so what are the rest of you guys doing right now? Could I have followed him? Uh, I'd... Too late. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's too late. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Can I follow Ryan following? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to spend some time with Gumshot. Okay. I want to get lots of info from my book. Okay, so what kind of stuff are you asking him? Well, the book topic is, uh, he basically Blaze's writing his own history of Harmonia. So he, every t- every city he's visited, which has the, he's, he grew up in Stillsby, and we we're in it's a... It's not of Harmonia. Telthania. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Did I say Harmonia? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Telthania. Telthania. Harmonia. <laughs> Don't worry about it. it it's, okay. it's his. Uh, I've been Andy doing Rose. so yeah. much like writing lately. Sorry, Telthania. History of Telthania. And he's been. To, he grew up in Stillsby. And then he, when he was in Abranches, I'm assuming just now that's why he was there. Yeah. So now he's just going to ask you about Horea. Okay. Just like basic history stuff. You know, like how it was founded, where it came from, like important events, important people. Okay. Yeah. So he'll tell you that. Uh, let's see. Just let Some... it out, <laughs> <laughs> Just you and me, I don't mind. He's dying. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> yeah, so he'll tell you about uh, that the town was first formed about two hundred years before the war against humans, and due to its location near the river and close to a large lake, it got a lot of. Lots of people came to the town to work and fish and stuff like that. And eventually it became one of the prime fishing villages. And eventually like town and closer being a fishing city in Telthania. And then uh, once the war came, it decimated the town because there was no... People weren't able to fish as much. A lot of starvation happened in some... A little bit, and then just a little bit of starvation. <laughs> and then uh, like lots story. of people either went to war and never came back, and stuff like that. So and, not exactly a happy village. Yeah, but in the last, uh, after the war, it started to go back to normal, kind of. Just not as many people came to the town anymore, like to work as a fisher or anything like that. It's almost kind of a forgotten town, kind of. Oh, that's what I'm doing all day. Okay. And he just tells you more about, like, the older rulers of, or lords of the town and uh, their names, and then how long ago he came to be the lord, which is, he says, about a hundred years ago. And just that the town is welcoming to anyone who comes here, and that... There's, he also tells you a little bit of some myths. So there's been myths that in one of the lakes nearby that there's a underwater town and that uh, in another lake there's some deep, deep monsters that, well, a, a deep monster that every once in a while comes up to surface and eats anyone who might be on the lake and stuff like that. Uh, what lake is this? Uh, it's called called Lake Arwen. That that's the one that uh, there's rumors of a village under the sea. I mean, under the lake. Okay. And the other lake is Lake uh, Deepwater, or Deepwater Lake. Deepwater Lake. Apparently, there's a monster in there. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, and no one act. No one has actually seen the monster and lived, he says. We should go check. 
Yeah, I was just. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. So I take my notes the for the book, but on. I make separate notes for these <laughs> these myths. Yeah. Because you know, Blaze is on like a history mission. <laughs> He's basically going around writing his book, but then, like, he's always been intrigued by things people don't know. So when he spoke of an underwater town and a secret, like, like Loch Ness monster, basically, yeah. he's going. <laughs> <laughs> Blaze is the new myth buster. Thus, the party separates. <laughs> we all go in our own directions. Yeah, so, uh, what are the rest of you doing right now? I want to go find that blacksmith. Okay. Yeah, so uh, Osiris comes back and uh, he's able to lead you to the blacksmith, which is on the north side of town. That's Blaze right now. And the shop name is uh, uh, I should have thought I should have wrote down a list of the shop names. Uh, where the metal hits. Okay. And. Uh, Above the door, there's just a big sign of where the metal hits, and it's just of a hammer banging on a piece of metal. Cool. All right, I'll go in. Uh, you're welcomed by a uh, a rock gnome, and uh, he's kind of middle aged, not too old, not too, not young though, and Medium he has hair. rosy cheeks and like. Just a little bit of stubble on his cheeks as well. And he welcomes, welcomes you and says, Oh, hi! Uh, my second character voice ever. Oh, hi! Uh, my name's uh, Alvin. I'm the blacksmith here. Uh, oh, shit. Have you met my cousins, the chipmunks? <laughs> 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 oh, man. That was good. I'll just mark down the inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you must be new here, uh, Osiris, uh, who is this? And he'll introduce you <laughs> as, uh, <laughs> so just you just... as, you said you're, Andrew. Andrew, yeah, Andrew. Uh, what are you doing in town here? I'll turn to Osiris and be like, that'll be all. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> just like, thank you. Damn. He, he walks out. <laughs> okay. He also sheds a single tear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's some cold <laughs> shit right there. What can I do you for? Five gold. Bad joke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, ha, ha, ha. Um, <laughs> I just make a note of meeting the blacksmith of every town that I visit. Of course. Are you one yourself? I used to be. Oh, okay. So now I like to go to other places and judge. <laughs> yes. Cute um, backstory. Do you mind if I take a look at your work? Your work. Of course, yeah. of course. And he'll just lead you around the his small blacksmith shop and just show you a bunch of like hammers, uh, war hammers, swords, stuff like that. And they're a pretty good quality. Boring. Yeah, but not great quality. Uh, do an investigation check. I just imagine he like goes, he's like, these are all my weapons, they're all just like pieces of metal that's all just bent. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, I call this one the shard! I got a nat one. Nat one? <laughs> oh, uh, so, wait, wait, would you have advantage? Yeah, I guess you would, since you're back. You're welcome. Yeah. Hey, I'll just write down this inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> it's just faded that you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> so, you do think that these are pretty high quality items. <laughs> you actually throw your money at them. And just do an insight check, too, as well. 21. Nice. You, you believe that he's not showing you everything. Or what else do you have? Oh, well, these are just the uh, main items I. Uh, sell to people and anyone who any adventures who might come by, which we don't actually see many of. I changed the the voice. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and uh, what else do you have hidden away that you don't necessarily have for sale? I see what you mean. Mm-hmm. That's a weird question. <laughs> to ask, man. Here, oh, uh, and he'll lead you into the back room and. <laughs> He has you a gift bag. This is what I've been hiding. 
fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Is a red ball okay? <laughs> I'll just mark down my inspiration. <laughs> yeah, and uh, as you walk into this room, you do see there are a few really fantastically done uh, weapons in this room. So there's one uh, double-sided uh, lawn sword, so one sword on each side and then handle in the middle. Wow. What? And wow, that's dope. it seems like pristinely done, like you don't see any marks or any scratches or anything on this weapon and you see that the handle is like has some intricacies that uh there's like a dra it's almost like a dragon winding around and then you also mm-hmm. see a war hammer that he has that has uh intricate carvings as well just of like the forest and a river running past the forest as well mm. And you made these. I did, yes. Uh, this was... These are my best works. You also see a few daggers in this room, too, that have intricate handles and are super sharp. Uh, you said you are a blacksmith. Did you make your own weapon yourself? Well, this was... like I take out my battle hammer. Yeah. This was a gift from my master. But uh, everything else I have is my own work. Do you mind if I take a look? Yeah, I... And he's surprised because it seems like amazingly well done, like matches if not as better than even the weapons you've seen in this room. Uh, who, uh, where did you use a blacksmith at? Just a, a small shop in the village or in the town of Sten. Oh, okay. Oh, never been there. It's not uh, much. Mostly dwarves. Uh... Would you like to buy anything, or are you just, like, checking stuff out? Mm. Well, I don't suppose any of these are for sale, are they? I mean, we're the right price. For the right price, well. Mm. Don't we have, like, no money? <clears throat> yeah, I'm a little short on things. It's alright. I'm mostly uh-huh. just looking. Cool. Well, I'm glad I could uh, chat with you about blacksmithing and stuff like that. Alvin, right? Yes, Alvin. I'll take my battle hammer back and okay. just leave, I guess. Okay. Uh, is there anything else anyone wanted to do right now? I think while everyone else was on their own little escapades, I was just going to go to the bar. Okay. My, yeah, I have nothing else to do. Um, so, yeah, and then I, like, I, was just, I would just get it like a tankard or whatever. Yeah, so uh, as you go to the bar and do you order a drink, you do, there is a... Musician sitting on stage two, on a small stage two, and roll a perception check. Uh, uh, 14. So, you understand the lyrics as talking about uh, the sea being... Wait, uh, how do I want to say this? Uh, about... The land taking over the sea and about a great enemy enemy falling and of a town being saved. Didn't we hear about this in Stillsby with uh, what's in space? Yeah, when you were in Stillsby, when you were fighting against uh, fuck, what is the same uh. Wizard Shabba dude. Shabba. Yeah, Shavada. Shavada. Yeah. No, Shavada. Yeah, we heard that. Yeah, when you yeah. were fighting against Shavada, you heard a song of the sea taking over the land. And um. you could probably assume this was about the Shardana taking over a city. Propaganda. Hmm. Um... I'll, I'll wait until uh, after. Were you at the scene in Silsby when that music was playing? No, oh, actually. Me. Yeah, we yeah. were in the King's Castle. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, okay, so I just, I noticed the, like, what? <laughs> <It's hard laughs> um, so do like do I just notice like the lyrical content, but I don't actually recognize the tune, right? Because no. I didn't hear it. Uh, okay. y- you assume this is a song. Well, you do. You hear the tune as well, and this is. You assume that the guy singing wrote the song himself. Okay. 
And you see it's a tiefling. Okay. Does um, he have um after he finishes his set um i'll say i'll say to the tiefling um that's that was a nice song you played oh thank you thank you uh i'm glad you enjoyed it uh i actually just came here a while back and just have been playing for a while uh What'd you write that song about? Uh, honestly, the songs just come to me at random, random times, usually at night, and yeah, and that's just it. They they come to me at random times, and that's them. What are some of your hits? Uh, Call me maybe. He's really popular. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually, in the last few months, I've actually gained a lot of popularity. Like. One of the bigger songs I was playing in Silsby a while back was a song called uh, The Sea Takes the City. And it's a song about like the sea just coming in like a huge wave or tsunami and just covering over the city and nothing is left. Hmm. <laughs> uh... And then uh, some other songs about... Uh, saviors of the deep. Hmm. 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 Some sounds like some spicy foreshadowing. Um, I'm gonna say uh, that's awesome. Well, uh, I wish you all the best. Um, yeah, uh, I flip him a gold piece. He really appreciates that and says thank you, and he'll introduce himself as, uh, fuck, what's his name? Uh, he says his name is Zerthos. How would you spell that? Z-H-E-R. Z. Yeah. T-H-O-S. And, uh, he says, uh, and I've heard there's a feast going on tonight, I'll be playing at that too, if you end up coming Oh, I'll see you there. The feast is actually uh, for me, my 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 group of friends, because uh, we saved the town. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, what happened? Like, I haven't heard much of this yet. Oh, we just killed a bunch of people. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Well, uh, <laughs> cool. I hope, I hope uh, they were. I hope they uh, were asking for it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this sure your word. Or that's good. Then I'm I'm glad you saved this town. Uh, and uh, Lazarus, was there anything you wanted to do at this time? Not really. Uh, I'd probably just make my way down the east and just. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's an empty room. We're just sitting, there, we're just sitting in the dark. <laughs> so as the first person walks in, like he's like, "Hello, and, uh, <laughs> what's for dinner?" <laughs> this feast is for me. <laughs> you must be wondering why I gathered you all here. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see you, you arrived. <laughs> oh, so you finally <laughs> awoke. <laughs> Yeah, so that's where we'll leave off on this episode of Nat 20. Uh, Thanks.